Hi guys, Jill here, and I have a bunch of Christmas cards to show you. I was getting my Christmas cards out today, and I was packaging them up, and it occurred to me that I had not done a video showing them. And I have done a whole bunch of different cards this year. I decided that I was going to use my stamps. Um gasp what a concept <laughs> but no I've been buying a lot of stamps I know that and what I do is I end up using two three stamp sets a year making all of my cards very similar and sending them out and so this year I decided to make a few of each card and then send out just a few of each type of card which I know most of you do and so I was packing them all up here's some of them I have like this brick of cards ready to go out tomorrow and um, then I realized yep I hadn't shown any of them so let me get started so this one is actually just um, one I've shown before was the front and this is a card I did probably two years ago with Bister background, which is a lot like Brusho. And my more recent, I showed the tie dye, um, which is all just watercolor without any liquid to it yet. And um, this image is a Whimsy or We Stamps, I believe. Um, it's they, they have different names depending on if they're digital or a stamp. And then um, I just use some pattern papers on them. And these are some pre-made card blanks. So there's that one. And I watercolored with my watercolor pencils. And then this one, um, I was pleasantly surprised with this one. It is a wreath stamp. I believe it's Inka Dinka Do. I got it for $2.99 at Michael's at the start of the Christmas season. It must have been an older one that they'd had floating around. There were four images in it, and these are two of them. And I used um, my distress markers, just four of them. And this is Canson paper that I picked up at AC Moore. And um, it colored up fairly quickly, and it looks very dimensional when it's not. And I will admit, I opened the envelope to show you guys and um, this one is on its way tomorrow. Um, this one, I believe I've shown it to you before. It is a full-sized, um, almost full-sized A2 card, and it is a shaker, and um, I made this file on my silhouette, and um, I'm really happy with how it came out. And I use these little owls from Hero Arts. I got them at the end of the season a few years ago, um, quite a few years ago. And I just love them. I mean, just the concept of an owl wearing a scarf, a top hat, or a sweater, this little fat guy. Um, there's one with the Santa hat also. And um, these backgrounds were done with my tie-dye inks. So, and that's um, paper. It's... Um, wood paper okay so this one i'm going to do a few more of this is that paper that came out this year through um, craft smart and i um, just use a few layers of it along with some pre-made note cards and just some of my sequins from cartwright and then my stampendous fawn and then this is a stamp from lawn fun so just a really basic shaker card, very um, subtle colors, neutrals, and I just love the simplicity, and I'll be making more of this one, and maybe I'll do a walkthrough on this one. And then here's another one with the Bister. Okay, then this one is based on the Split Coast Stampers um, card that's out right now because it stands up. It doesn't actually open, but it stands up, and then here's the back. And again, with using all the different stamps, these were from 
Um, this was from one stamp set, this is from another, and then this is from a little greeting set that I got on um, like 80 or 90 percent clearance. It was like under a dollar, and I got a bunch of really good greetings. These are some of those note card pre-made note, note cards again, and it's all just in the way you fold it, and I'm using up some of my 12 by 12. Um, this has a piece of vellum here. This is some of the mirror or poster board um, that Terry, who's paper lover, got me. And then these are some Impression Obsession candies that I glittered. And then these were in my pre-cut drawer. And then one of the stamp sets I bought this year from Michael's, um, I cut it apart and it said Candy Cane Wishes, so I just cut it in half and used my Misty to stamp it onto that. And um, again, use some more of that mirror paper back there. And I used it in a few different colors. Here it is in the red. I thought that was really striking. And the silver, and that's it. So those are going to go out to some of my stamping friends. I think they'll have a better idea what to do with those. And then um, here is, this one's all ready to go out. I almost put this one in the envelope. Um, a shaker card I made. And this one used a bunch of different stamp sets. Um, this is from that same, same stamp set as the candy cane. Um, I thought it looked really good in here. I used some mercury paper and that um, a different stamp set that I picked up this year. And um, my Brilliance ink pads with a Martha Stewart stamp set of Lacy Snowflakes. And then this again was another stamp set I had kind of hanging around. And some sequins that I got at Michael's really dirt cheap during Black Friday. Um, it was actually Thanksgiving night. They were open until 2. This one I had unmounted. And it's that same kind of carnival writing as the Flakes was. Which I thought was really cool because they're not even the same company. And so um, I got this one before it went in the envelope. And then this one um, was a cut I saw from, or cut, a fold. Um, Dawn, my Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I think I'll go into this one a little more in depth in another video. But this is an Art Impressions watercolor that I did in the background. And um, Joey pointed out to me, and I told him to shut up, that, you know, you wouldn't look at a snowman from the outside of the window. And I said, yes, I would if I was a snowman. So, you know, who cares? Um, but, so, again, I used some different sequins that I got at Michael's, again, that same night. They had these in little tubes. They weren't really obvious that they were there. And um, this is a Stampin' Up! Wood Grain punch stamp. And I just think it's a really cool um, way for the card to kind of pop out. And so that one, again, I made two of those, and those are about to go out. So um, there is many of my cards. I'm going to make a few more of these. And um, then these are all going out tomorrow. So we'll see what else I come up with. I did do my uh, tag for December for the 12 tags of 2015 and I've got to catch up on a few of the others and um, I'm thinking about next year starting to do some start to finish um, cards so I'm gonna try that and we'll see how that goes so there you have it and thanks for stopping by and as always if you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and thanks for watching have a great day